with Shalom from the Jesus House. We decided since uh, Thomas is not able to leave the house yet that we're just going to have our own worship before the Lord and uh, invite you to join us. And uh, scripture today, uh, Isaiah chapter 2, says the, the word that Isaiah, the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And that is our cat Louie joining us in praise. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow onto it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord to the house of the God of Jacob and he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law in the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. O house of Jacob, come ye, and let us walk in the light of the Lord. Amen. And so enter into the rock, and hide thee in the dust, for the fear of the Lord and the glory of his majesty. For the Lord alone will be exalted in that day. And so we just come to exalt the Lord and ask him to come and teach us his ways and to worship him Amen. in his holy mountain, in his presence. Ready? Yeah. So uh, our cat Louie jumped the gate to go downstairs and couldn't get back up. So, and, uh, and like us, sometimes we jump over something and get ourselves in a mess, and we need Jesus to pick us up and get us out of it. Amen. Call upon His name.
Father, we lift up our eyes up over the hills, for we know where our help comes from. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. We come and bow down and worship, for you are God and there is none else. 
come to dwell under the shadow of the Almighty God. And we will say of the Lord, He is our refuge. We will say of the Lord, He is our strong tower. For we know the Lord is good and His mercy endures forever. Around your throne today, in this moment, we cry, Holy, Holy, Holy. Holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Jesus, the Christ, the Son of the living God. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy God. You are the only one who is worthy. The Lamb of God, we thank you. We give you praise. Almighty God. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. In your presence, oh God. 
Father, we know that your word is true. It is forever settled in the heaven. It cannot change. Man cannot change it. The devil and demons themselves cannot change it. It is forever settled, Lord God, and your word is hidden within our hearts and it abides within us, Lord we let your word rule in our heart today that you are God and there is none else. That you are the God who started a work and it's a good work within each and every one of us. And you are God who is faithful to complete that work in us. And it's a good work, Father. So what the enemy has meant for evil Father, you are the God who is able 
to turn it and make it for good, for our good. That not only, Father, is it for our good, but that those around us may, that many may come into the knowledge of Jesus Christ and into your goodness and be saved, Father. So, Father, we thank you today. We glory, Father, in your goodness. Giving you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise unto you. Because we love you, we worship you, we praise you this day for the salvation you've given to each and every one of us. And Father, some of us need the joy of our salvation to be restored. So restore unto us the joy of our salvation. Amen. Come to us, O oh God. Come to your children. Come to your people. And restore the joy of our salvation. Create in us a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within us. Cause us to return to our first love. And Father God, that we humble ourselves and love you and worship you with our whole heart. That we set no idols before you. And you are God who sits upon the throne. God of the heavens, Lord of the earth, King of the universe, and blessed be your name, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, we bless your name from this place. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory and all the honor unto thee, O oh God. All blessing and honor and glory. To him who sits upon the throne and on to the Lamb forever and ever. Blessed be thy name. Forever is thy reign, O God. And we bless you, O God. God of the heavens, I bless you from this place.
was willing to come to heal to save I know and believe that Jesus you are the Christ the son of the living God that the blind see the deaf hear the lame walk and the dead live again I know and believe by the power of your spirit, Lord, you are able to raise the dead. You are the king, the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the resurrection and the life. So, Father, I pray now, as we worship you, that you come by your mighty spirit, your eternal spirit, the same spirit that moved upon the face of the waters and you said let there be and there was the same spirit that went into the depths of hell and raised Christ from the dead is the same spirit that will quicken our mortal bodies here now in this moment so father I pray that your Holy Spirit will come bring healing to us believe and by faith we touch the hem of your garment this day by faith we come to sit at your feet because we know that you are the Christ we know that you have words of eternal life so we come to sit we come and press in father by faith to touch the hem of your garment that there is healing in your wings father oh heavenly father come and rain down rain down on us
You know, we have this assurance from God that He has given Jesus all power and authority in heaven and in earth that has been given unto Him. And God has put all things under His feet through His death, burial, and resurrection. He has conquered death and hell, and all things are under His feet. And the Apostle Paul teaches us that even though we don't see everything under his feet at this moment, we see Jesus. It's so important for us and to purpose to lift up our eyes to see Jesus. And the devil would love for you to focus on your trouble, on your sickness, on your circumstances, and doubt the word of God. But saints, when we see Jesus, we have shalom, we have peace. And we have that knowing that even though we may go through a, a, the flood and the fire, that God is with us in the midst of all of it. That the water will not overtake us and the fire will not burn. So we lift up our eyes to see Jesus. So whatever it is in your life today, I pray that just a mustard seed of faith can move a mountain. And we lift up our eyes to see Jesus in this day, in this moment. And as the prophet Isaiah said, it was in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. And right now in this moment, in the year of 2019, I see the Lord high and lifted up. So I pray that today, Father. I pray that everyone who has joined in with us today, Lord God, to worship you, to abide in your presence. Father, that we lift up our eyes to see Jesus. And we know that all things are under your feet. We know that sickness and death are under your feet. We know that the cares and the trouble of this, of this life are under your feet. So we lift up our eyes to see Jesus. And we know that the sufferings of this present time are not 
worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. So, Father, we hold on and know and believe and trust the glory that you're going to show us through all of it, Father God. We see Jesus today.
So, Lord, thank you for joining us, and uh, I'm going to read a scripture, and don't you have something here? The hope that we have, and the joy that we have, in knowing that Jesus loves me, yes, I know. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all thy iniquities and who heals all thy disease, who redeems thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles, the Lord execute righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. I love that. <laughs> plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. That ought to be a big hallelujah. Mm, a loud hallelujah. shout of hallelujah. He has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pities his children, so the Lord pities them that fear him. For he knows our fame, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, and as the flower of the field, so he flourishes. For in the wind, for the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting and everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children. To such as keep his commandments, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments. Hearken unto his voice, of, of the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all you hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, 
all you workers in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. May the Lord bless you and keep you, and may the light of his countenance shine upon you this day and give you shalom, give you peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Shalom.